Hi friends, I'm back again with a tutorial on how to re-articulate your original vector symbol into other iterations of symbols um, so that you can begin uh, playing with different forms in Cat's Eye. So, um, here we are in Photoshop. The setup that I have at the moment is the 1920 by 1280 pixels at the resolution of 150 uh, ppi. So I've just dropped in a symbol that uh, was a vector graphic. Um, putting things into Photoshop will automatically make them uh, raster, raster images. Sorry. <laughs> um, so the first thing that you should do is to put on your rulers. So the shortcut for that is Control R, and um, if you pull across, click and pull across from the ruler, you'll have this guideline. And to start pulling apart your original symbol, um, it's a good idea to get a get a visual on what the lines of symmetry are. So you can find roughly the center points of your symbol, and you can start to see the lines of symmetry. Um, here I can see that uh, this symbol has a uh, horizontal, well, it has a vertical line of symmetry. Um, so that this side is exactly the same as this side. So you can begin to see the little quadrants that you might want to play with. Um, the bottom two are exactly the same and the top two are exactly the same. So we're kind of looking at these diagonal pair here. So I might start by taking apart uh, this top left quadrant. And to do that, I'm going to grab my little selection box, make sure I'm on the right layer, and then just drag over this quadrant and the box should snap to the guidelines. Then I'm going to edit and copy that, so the shortcut is Control c and then elsewhere on my page I'm going to paste that and the shortcut is Control v So now I have a quadrant, of the top left quadrant, and I'm going to work with this and see what other pattern I can, what other symbols, sorry, that I can come up with um, just by using and rotating uh, this single quadrant. So to get another copy of this quadrant, um, you could paste again, and you can get the same thing. Or another handy and quick way of doing things is to hold down Alt, and you can actually see there are two arrows appearing, and you can click and drag to get another one. So here I have my four quadrants, and I'm going to be turning and rotating them so that they fit together and form um, a new symbol. So, uh, this top right uh, quadrant, I'm going to press Control T to get the free transform tool. And I'm going to hold down Shift. Now what, what holding down Shift does is if you grab the corner and you rotate it, you can see it's rotating along um, very sharp angles, whereas if I let go of shift, you can see it allows me to move um, smoother around the central point. So when I'm trying to rotate things uh, 90 degrees, um, you can go into edit, transform, and rotate 90 degrees, but if you want to do that without going to your toolbars, you can hold down shift and it will basically uh, snap into these horizontal and vertical positions so that straight on the degree line rather than um, slightly askew. So I'm just sort of building uh, the symbol up. You can see I rotated that one and I'm working on the diagonal reflection there. And if I wanted to create the same for these, um, these other quadrants, I will need to flip my image because you can see it's not really going to fit in there. And even if we rotate that around, um, it's not going to fit in there. So I need to flip this over. And to do that, I will go to my Edit and Transform toolbar. And I will flip that horizontally. And you can start to see when I drag it out how these pieces are actually going to fit together. So I'll do the same thing for the final quadrant. Edit, transform, and flip horizontal. And there is the last part. And if we just move this grid line out of the way for a second, 
um, you can see that that has formed an entirely new symbol out of one corner quadrant of this image. So just by using um, the same quadrant four times and reflecting and rotating, um, you can come up with a lot of different symbols from your original symbol. You don't just have to take the um, corners, you might want to look at um, something on the inside, say maybe this piece, or something a little bit unusual from one of the other sides. Play around with taking part of that out, and let's see what happens when we do that one. We just quickly, um, whoops, if we pull this one up and rotate that, you can see that one would kind of fit in here. Got to be careful if there's white space because they may not match exactly, or you can bring them in and position them how you will. So you can see we start to build this up, and then if I have one more and I flip that horizontally and put that, ah, see, okay, I'll have to take out the white space here. Just going to quickly do that with my little uh, selecting brush. And you can see how this one's going to turn out if we duplicate that and rotate that around. Aha! Uh -huh. I put that above the other layers. You can see this might take a little bit of time to kind of understand the shortcuts and get that all going. But you can see there we've made a new symbol out of um, the side of this original symbol. I've done a few more. Um, there's this one. This was from the bottom uh, quadrant. So if I bring that cross back in. It was from this area here. And one more. You can see that this was from, actually it's a little hard to make out. I think I took, oh I'm not sure. I think it was this section up here um, in between these heads. And then the last one um, was this little child, I think it is, abstracted in the symbol. So that was that square here. So you can see how I can get this sort of family of symbols out of my original symbol. Um, and this is what we want you to do for part of your hand in, is to um, have a look at these lines of symmetry, pull out interesting bits of geometry, and then by replicating and rotating and reflecting them, you can come up with new symbols. Um, and you need to choose four for your final submission. So, um, what I will do is show you how to take these into Illustrator and just set them up for your final submission. Um, I'm going to save this page as a PDF, uh, Photoshop PDF, and I'm going to call it Symbols Rearticulated. Save, 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 good. And then in Illustrator, we can bring that same file back up, Symbols Rearticulated, and we can use the Live Trace tool that you have learnt about. Um, just need to find out what I'm doing here. Use the Live Trace tool by going to um, Object and Image Trace. And why can't we image trace that? Is it in a clipping mask? It was in a clipping mask. Okay, so we can click on it. Sorry about that. Um, all I did was right clicked and uh, released the clipping mask. It wasn't loading the edit. So you can click on your image that you're importing and select image trace. And you can see that that is when it loads. Going to make our symbols nice and smooth. Um, give them this formulated vector graphic uh, look. And then what we can do is expand them because I want to treat them as individual images. I'm going to take my direct selection tool and I'm going to say, okay, the, finals, the final submissions are not going to be my original symbol. And you can position them around a little bit and make them look nice. And I can say, okay, maybe uh, this one and this one are a little bit similar, but... Uh, I think this one is less of a symbol 
um, than the others. I think this one looks like it's going to be a continuing pattern. Therefore, I'm going to uh, remove this one and the rest of its geometry. So all I'm doing is, with my white arrow, I am dragging and that selects the geometry and then I'm pressing delete. And maybe these will be your final four submission. Okay, so you're still in the same 1920 by 1280. Oops, still in the same 1920 by 1280. Um, but you can just image trace and then select the ones you want and readjust them. Okay, and they would be the four that you would submit. And you can submit them um, back out as, oops, not save for web, um, back out as the PDF and the SVG as you learnt before with the save as drop down menu. Okay, um, that is it for symbol rearticulation.